Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Nuta, the Crochet Vogue. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment on my videos. And today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a drawstring mini pouch. Here it is. It looks like this here. And simply just pull your strings and here it is. It closes up like this. And for this particular project, I've used my 100% cotton yarn. And for this one, I've used a 4mm of the hook. Now, the size of this pouch is, it is about, here it is, it is about 12 centimeters, 12 centimeters long. And it is about 9, 8.5 centimeters wide. Here it is almost eight and a half or a nine centimeters wide here it is and this is the size of this uh, pouch and let's begin so here it is we will start with a slip knot and here i'm gonna chain up 13 one three so here it is it's one two three twelve and thirteen here it is i've got my this 13 chains and now i'm gonna turn my work and I'm going to skip my this first chain. So this is the back part of my chains. And I'm going to work at the back parts of my this chains. Now this is the back part, back bum of my first chain. And I'm going to skip my this first chain. And I'm going to go to the second chain. Now here, I'm going to yarn over. And will insert my hook into my this second chain. And we'll grab the yarn. And here, I'm going to have three loops on my hook. Now yarn over and spool yarn through all three loops and this is my first half double crochet this is my first stitch now here i'm gonna have a stitch marker just remember that this is my first stitch and now here i'm gonna yarn over and will insert my hook again to that same chain into the into this second chain like this and we'll grab the yarn and here i'm gonna have my this second half double crochet here like this and now for this remaining chains, we're going to have one half double crochet into each chain. So here, go to this next chain, yarn over, insert your hook into this next chain, grab a yarn and have one half double crochet here. Yarn over, go to this next chain, insert your hook and grab a yarn and yarn over and pull a yarn through all three loops. Here it is. So now onwards, have one half double crochet into each chain and by the end, you're going to have your 13, one three half double crochets 13 stitches and i'm gonna meet you after my 13 half double crochets here it is so here it is i got my this 13 half double crochets here and now into this last chain we're gonna add another three half double crochets so here it is we got about this 13th half double crochet here and another three into the same chain last chain so it's gonna be your 14th half double crochet 15th half double crochet and your 16th half double crochet here it is like this and now turn your work and now we will work on this second side the other side of our this chains now here go to this first chain this one this is your first chain and yarn over and insert your hook into this first chain And now yarn over and insert your hook into this next stitch and grab a yarn and yarn over and pull a yarn through all three loops. And now here, keep on having one half double crochet into each chain on this second side as well. And here you're going to add another 10 half double crochets. So we already got this two, another eight half double crochets. And by the end, you're going to have your 26 half double crochet all the way around. All the way around, you're going to have your 26 half double crochets and I'm going to meet you here on this stitch here you're gonna have your 26 half double crochets and i'm gonna meet you here at this point here it is i got my this 26 half double crochets here enough we will go here into over this stitch this is our chain so here you got your this last stitch your 26th stitch and we will go to this next chain and here into this next chain we're gonna have two half double crochets two stitches so yarn over and insert your hook into this next chain and have your 27th half double crochet yarn over and insert your hook into that same chain and grab yarn and you're gonna have your 
last 28th half double crochet and your work will look like this so in total we got our 28 half double crochets and now i'm going to take out my this stitch marker and i will insert my hook into my this first stitch like this and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have a slip stitch here and that's how we're going to finish our this round round number one and remember this is our base uh, so we have created our base here and now for our pattern chain one and go to this first stitch now this is your first stitch you have made your slip stitch here this is your first stitch insert your hook into the back loop of your this first stitch so here it is you got here this two loops here go to this back loop insert your hook into this back loop and grab a yarn and have one single crochet here now if you want you can have a stitch marker here and now keep on having one single crochet back loop only into each stitch so this is your first stitch go to this next stitch insert your hook into this back loop of your this next stitch grab a yarn and have one single crochet go to this next one insert your hook into your this back loop and grab a yarn and have one single crochet now keep on having one single crochet back loop only into each stitch and by the end you're gonna have your 28 single crochets all back loop only and i'm gonna meet you at the end of this round round number two with my 28 back loop only single crochets and here it is i've got my this 28 single crochets all back loop only for my round number two and now here so here this one is your slip stitch and this one this next one is your chain one so we're going to skip over this slip stitch and chain one and this is your first stitch so take out your the stitch marker and insert your hook into this first stitch directly and grab the yarn and have one slip stitch here here it is like this and now chain one now yarn over and insert your hook into this first stitch where you have made you the slip stitch insert your hook again into that same stitch and grab a yarn and here you're gonna have three loops on your hook now yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loops and this is your first half double crochet of your round number three so just have your this stitch marker back on now yarn over and again go to that same first stitch here where you have made your this first half double crochet so yarn over and insert your hook into that same stitch into your this first stitch and grab a yarn and you're gonna have three loops yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loops so into this first stitch have two half double crochets and now we're gonna skip over this next stitch and into the stitch after that we're gonna have two half double crochets into this one stitch so here it is one and two like this now again skip your this next stitch and into the stitch after that have two half double crochets into this one stitch so yarn over and insert your hook and have this first half double crochet and your second half double crochet and now keep on repeating your pattern and by the end you're gonna have your 28 stitches and i'm gonna meet you at the end so again skip your this next stitch and into the stitch after that have two half double crochets again skip your this next one and into the stitch after that have your two half double crochets and by the end you're gonna have your 28 stitches and i'm gonna meet you at the end somewhere here and here this i've got my this 28 stitches my 28 half double crochets and now we're gonna skip over this next stitch and this one is our slip stitch and this one is our chain one so we're going to skip over this two stitches as well so we're going to skip all these three stitches and we will directly go to this first stitch now take out the stitch marker and insert your hook into this first stitch into this first half double crochet and grab the yarn and have one slip stitch and that's how we're going to finish over this round round number three and now for your round number four we're going to go in between these two stitches here so now this is your first half double crochet if you can see this one is your first half double crochet this is your first half double crochet we have made our slip stitch here so this is your first half double crochet and this is your second half double crochet now we will have to insert our hook in between these two stitches in between this first half double crochet and the second half double crochet so we're going to go into this space in between this space here remember we are not going into the second stitch not here into the second stitch this is our second stitch we are not going here but we will just pull over this two stitches apart and you're going to find your this space here and insert your hook into this space here like this 
and grab a yarn and have one extra slip stitch here so have one extra slip stitch here and now here chain one yarn over and go to that same space here insert your hook grab a yarn yarn over and pull your yarn and this is your first stitch first half double crochet of your round number four here now yarn over and go to this same space and grab a yarn and have another half double crochet here here it is now we're gonna skip over this next half double crochet we're gonna skip over this half double crochet as well so we're gonna skip over this next two stitches and we will go in between these two half double crochets here so find out these two half double crochets and we will pull them apart and we will find our space here and we are going to go into this space here so for that yarn over and insert your hook into the space and grab a yarn and you're going to have three loops yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loops yarn over again we're going to insert our hook into that same space and grab a yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loops and this is your second half double crochet and now keep on repeating this pattern so again we're going to skip over this next two half double crochets and we will go in between this two half double crochets this two half double crochets and we will find our space here so again yarn over go to this go into the space and have another two half double crochets now keep on repeating this pattern and by the end of this round round number four you're going to have your 28 half double crochets and i'm going to meet you here so this is your last two half double crochets you're going to find your space here and you're going to have your two half double crochets here and i'm going to meet you here at this space and here it is at the end of my round number four i got my this 28 half double crochets and my pattern looks like this and now here take out your this stitch marker this is your first stitch of your round number four and here we're going to insert our hook into this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have a slip stitch here and now we're going to repeat our round number four until our round number 12 one two so here as we finish our round number four we're going to repeat our round number four for our round number five so for that here it is this is our first stitch now we will go in between these two stitches so this is our first stitch and this is our second half double crochet first half double crochet and second half double crochet we will find our space in between these two stitches here and we're gonna go in between these two stitches into this space here now for that first insert your hook into the space grab yarn and have one extra slip stitch chain one yarn over and go to this space and grab a yarn and have one half double crochet yarn over go to this same space and grab a yarn and have one half double crochet so you got your two half double crochets this is your first stitch so just have your stitch marker here and now keep on repeating your round number four for your round number five and until your round number 12 and here it is after my round number 12 it looks like this here it is the pattern and now for your round number 13 here i've made my this slip stitch now chain one insert your hook again into that same stitch where you have made your slip stitch and grab a yarn and have one single crochet here now we will go to this next stitch insert your hook into this next stitch and grab a yarn and have one single crochet here again go to this next stitch insert your hook grab a yarn and have one single crochet and now keep on having one single crochet on each stitch and by the end you're going to have your 28 single crochets and you can have your stitch marker on this first stitch of your round number 13 and i'm going to meet you at the end of my round number 13 with my 28 single crochets like this and here it is after my round number 13 it looks like this and now this is my last stitch my 28th stitch of my round number 13 and now i'm going to take out my this stitch marker here and i will insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have a slip stitch here and that's how we're going to finish our round number 13 and now for your round number 14 chain one yarn over and go to that same stitch where you have made your slip stitch into this first stitch of your round number 13 insert your hook into that same stitch and grab a yarn yarn over and spool a yarn through all three loops and this is your first half double crochet you can have your stitch marker here and now we're going to have a chain one now we're going to skip over this 
next stitch and into the stitch after that we're going to have one more half double crochet and chain one now again go to this next stitch we're going to skip over this next stitch and we will go to this stitch after that and we're going to have one half double crochet and chain one again skip your this next stitch and into the stitch after that have one half double crochet and chain one now keep on repeating your this pattern and i'm going to meet you at the end and here it is after my round number 14 it looks like this and here i got my this last half double crochet and one chain one now i'm going to skip my this next stitch this one is my slip stitch and a chain one so i'm going to skip all of these stitches and i'm going to go directly to my this first stitch now this is my first half double crochet i'm going to insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have a slip stitch here like this and now for your round number 15 go to this chain one space insert your hook into this chain one space grab a yarn and have one extra slip stitch here and now here chain one yarn over insert your hook into this chain one space and grab a yarn and have one half double crochet now here into this chain one space we're going to have five half double crochets so this is our first half double crochet have the second half double crochet third four and fifth half double crochet like this and now we are going to skip over this next half double crochet and we will go to this chain one space directly insert your hook into this chain one space grab a yarn and have one slip stitch here and now we're going to repeat this pattern so again into over this next chain one space we're going to have five half double crochets so it's one two three four and five here it is and now go to this next chain one space insert your hook grab a yarn and have one slip stitch now repeat this pattern and i'm going to meet you at the end and here you're going to have your slip stitch so just repeat this pattern five half double crochet then slip stitch and another five half double crochet and slip stitch and i'm going to meet you at the end here and here it is got my this last slip stitch here and now i will go to this my first half double crochet i will insert my hook into my this first half double crochet and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have a slip stitch here and that's how we're going to finish over this round round number 15 and now we're going to cut our yarn cut your yarn and secure your this last stitch and now have your this needle and we will go to this next stitch so here it is this is our first stitch we have already worked on this first stitch we will go to this next stitch insert your needle like this and grab your needle here now go to this last stitch this is your last slip stitch insert your needle in between this two strain of yarn into this loop here and take out your needle from the back and you're going to have a nicely knitted stitch here here it is and now it will look flawless it's here and now just hide your this ends in so just have a little knot here and then hide your this ends this one if you have uh, an end into this bottom one just hide that one as well and i'm going to meet you after that here it is it looks like this and now for this drawstring we're just going to have our yarn and we will have 50 chains here so just have your slip knot and have a 50 chain now if you want this double straps you can have a set of two 50 chains and if you want just the one you can have just one 50 chains i'm gonna have two of them so i'm gonna have two chain 50 so here it is we got over this two chains uh, each is having a 50 chain and now just have a needle into your one of the chains just like this and have your this pouch and go at the at the side any of the side and i'm gonna go here and just insert your this needle like this and keep on stretching your chains Here and go all the way around so one loop in and one loop out and just keep on stretching your this chains 
like this like this and if you want you can just leave your work like this and you can use it just as one string and if you want to have another strap just have this one and have a needle and i'm gonna go now on this other side so here go to this next side you're gonna find a space here so here i'm gonna have my this needle like this because this strap is on top of my this half double crochet so i'm gonna go from the down here and just will take out my this or will stretch my this chains like this and now keep on stretching your chains just like before here one loop in one loop out and all the way around And here it is. We are here. Adjust your this both the straps. Here it is. And if you want, you can just level up your this ends on both sides. Here it is. And your pouch is ready. It looks like this. On the sides here it is it's all nicely kneaded pouch and you can simply close this one here and i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have liked please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye